Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends. So it is Monday, August 28th, which means first day of school. So I am starting my first day of school on my 22nd year of teaching. Like that is just blows my mind. I just can't even believe that. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait to meet all my littles. I got to meet most of them at open house, but it's a whole different thing whenever that they're just by themselves and it's not with their parents and they're not so shy and bashful. So I am so looking forward to a great year and starting it off. Um, little snag is that um, our smart board or our smart notebook is not working and that's how that we vote for lunch and I don't know when they're gonna get it working. So that's a kind of a struggle because they won't be able to, I mean, I got a, um, a friend of mine made a PowerPoint, but everything is not locked in place like it is when you do um, Smart Notebook. So not so sure how that's gonna work. We'll see. We'll see if that's gonna make it happen or if that's gonna be a catastrophe. Um, I did get my lunch cards made before I left. So lots of things that are in place to make today successful. So I'm just hoping that it really is as successful and that the kids cooperate. You know, best laid plans sometimes don't always work out. So I'm certainly hoping for the best and hoping that it is going to be as successful as I think it's going to be. Um, I'm just looking forward to a great start of the year. And I keep hearing that song, it's going down for real. That's what keeps playing in my head like over and over of like, this is really happening. Like right now, we're going back to school and the littles are coming, whether we're ready for them or not. I certainly hope you have a fantabulous wondrous blessed day wow can we just say this has been the oh sorry 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 my jeep gets a little crazy sometimes um can we just say this has been probably the best first day of school ever existed it has been fabulous my little kiddos came so ready to work and to learn and they listen so well it has just been a really phenomenal day like I am so pleased with how well today went um, but it is 7 15 p.m. and I got to school this morning at 7 10 a.m. so I have now officially been at school for 12 hours um, I did get a lot of things finished and accomplished this afternoon. Um, like I still hadn't filed my math papers for the year. And so I got all the way through lesson or topic 12, which is a lot because, you know, there's like six or seven lessons in each topic. So I got all of that filed. I got my um, social studies weekly sorted and filed and that takes a long time because I don't know who thought of doing this but instead of putting all the unit topic one together and the topic two together some bright person at social studies weekly decided that it would be a really smart idea to put lessons 1 through 16 1 through 16 all together in one packet or maybe 1 through 36 I don't know but they're all in one packet so I have to 24 times sort one two three four five all the way through so that then I can file my papers who who did this I, I don't know like stop social studies weekly stop stop doing that you need to print them you know you they didn't print them that way anyway so I got weeks one through six pulled apart and filed of that so at least I can have some breathing room. Um, I got all of the supplies put up that my kiddos brought 
which is huge. I mean, that takes days sometimes, and I've got all of that finished today. I also went through all of their folders and got all of that paperwork that gets brought in at the beginning of the year. I got all that filed, sorted, taken to where it belongs, copied. I feel so accomplished. Like, whoo, I feel amazing. But I knew that tomorrow I work at the gym and I do personal training. So I knew that I was gonna have to head out pretty quick after the bell rang to get to the gym on time. So I like had to get everything finished today because I will have zero time to work tomorrow after school. Like it will be hit the door as soon as the kiddos are gone. And so I tried to get as much finished as I could. Also, I know that very soon my college class that I teach or both of them are gonna be requiring lots of my time and energy. So it's gonna be a lot less than I'm gonna be able to um, give to my regular classroom. So I've got to spread my time. So when I have extra time, I'm very much willing to give that to my classroom so that I can make it run more efficiently. And sometimes you just have to do that. And I know it's not always easy. I am fortunate in that, um, well, I say fortunate. I mean, I've done my time. I've had littles and now my kids are older. I mean, one of mine is 18 and he's pretty much, um, you know, on his own. He lives at home, but he certainly doesn't need me to be anywhere for him. And my 16 year old is pretty much the same way. She works as much as I do and she's just busy with her friends. So it's not like there's anybody at home or at daycare waiting on me to come pick them up like it used to be for years. And then I always felt guilty. So now I'm at a point in my life where I can give more to my classroom and I do, and I feel like that I give more to my kiddos because of that, because I'm able to take the time to do things the way that I want them to be done instead of just whatever I could get done in the time I had. And so I feel very accomplished today. Um, still don't know what I'm gonna eat for supper, but I am starving. And I don't want to just go home and shove something in my mouth that's very unhealthy. Because um, this time of the year, it gets very easy to do that. I just want to grab something fast. In fact, I was very tempted to just run by, pick up a pizza, um, which is horrible. I don't even like pizza. But I knew that it would be something I could just grab and it would be fixed and I wouldn't have to fix it. Um, so I'm going to go home and figure that out. And then I'm going to upload some videos because I didn't get to do that last night and get some more work done, um, like paperwork type things that I need to do on my computer. And I'm also gonna work on some of my ideas that I have for Teachers Pay Teachers. So I hope you have had a wonderful, blessed day. And if it was your first day back, I hope it was wonderful. And Good morning, my beautiful YouTube friends. So it is Tuesday, the second day of school. And I don't know if you can hear, but it is raining. Which means second day of school indoor recess um, So we're gonna have to teach that procedure a little bit quicker than I had planned on it and a lot of times for indoor recess we would do things like um, free time on the iPad But because it's only the second day of school. We haven't actually assigned all the iPad yet. So It'll be Go Noodle and maybe some of my board games, the simpler ones that they might already know how to play. Um, it was, like I said, yesterday, a fantastic day yesterday. So I'm really hoping that today is going to be just as successful and just as good. We um, had a lot of papers and worksheets and um, activities that we did not get to yesterday. One thing that I seem to forget from year to year of teaching first grade is just how slowly 
they work at the beginning of the year compared to the end of the year. Um, end of the year, five worksheets in a day would be no problem. Yesterday, we barely got finished with two and one of them was their writing that they have to do for their portfolio. So it was, needless to say, painfully slow to get the work completed. But I know that it'll get better and that is definitely something that we work on and that they progress through. And the most important thing, especially the first week and even the first two weeks, is teaching your procedures, is teaching them to know your expectations. Because if they know their, your expectations, most of the time they will meet them or even sometimes exceed them. It's, it's when you are not completely clear or you have not completely taught them your expectations or you're inconsistent with your expectations. And I'm guilty of that sometimes because I allow them to talk at, at some times and then I don't at others. I try to be very clear about when they can and can't, but I know for a six-year-old, that's very confusing. That, well, I didn't get in trouble for talking this time, but now I am. So I try to be very clear with that and let them know this is a no talking, you will get in trouble, or this is a one, which means that you can talk quietly to your friend. So, it's that's one of those things that you just have to keep being consistent and make sure that they know exactly what's expected of them. So I'm looking forward to another great day. I hope that you have a fantastic day and that you are blessed. Hello, my friends. So it is the end of day two, second day of school, so of Tuesday. I actually had another fantabulous day. It was amazing. My kids are so well behaved and so good. I absolutely love them. Um, it looks like I have a great set of students, a great set of parents. Um, I actually had a new student today um, they just got enrolled right at my breakout time. And I know that I mentioned this morning that I did, I thought I was gonna have to have indoor recess. And I really thought that I was all the way up until lunch, because we go to recess after lunch. And at lunchtime, it started clearing up. And so we were able to go outside, so we didn't have to have indoor recess on the second day of school, which is a super success. Um, we're still very, very slow at getting things completed, and so I'm really hoping that that is going to improve. I rewarded the kids today who got finished in a, at a fast pace. I rewarded them with extra dojo points and stickers, and a lot of my kiddos got to play with my manipulatives, and they really enjoyed that, and so I'm hoping that instead of having negative consequences of, well, you didn't get this done, so you lose a point, of them realizing, well, I didn't get that finished, so I didn't get to play the games, are gonna be more of a motivator. Um, most of my paperwork is back in and put where it needs to be, which is huge, because normally I'm still trying to get that in the second week of school. And so I'm very pleased with all of that and how that's going. Um, yeah, so all in all, very successful. Um, I have to leave. I had to leave at a normal time today because I have um, to coach at the gym. And so I'm heading to go take Maggie and Elijah home. Say, hey, Maggie. <laughs> and Elijah, that's my niece and nephew, and I bring them to school every day. So I'm going to go drop them off at home head to the gym and coach for a couple hours and then I will hopefully head home and actually cook some food tonight instead of just grabbing whatever might be at the house. So hopefully it will be a successful night at home as successful as it was at school today. So I will talk to you later. I hope you had a fantabulous day and be blessed. Good morning my YouTube friends. So it is now Thursday. I don't really think that I vlogged at all yesterday. It was a crazy day. Um, 
I haven't actually had a chance to have breakout. That means like um, the time that our kids go to their specials class. We have had something, a meeting or something every single day during our breakout. And the first week of school, that is not okay. Um, so it's been kind of crazy. Um, trying to keep my head above water, getting all of the things accomplished that needs to be accomplished in the time that I have to do them. Um, you know, how all the paperwork comes in and it just gets really, really hectic. <laughs> the person in front of me is wagging their finger at their kid. Um, it gets really, really hectic at the beginning of the year to try to keep ahead of everything. And then um, with all the meetings, it just makes it even more. But in the meeting yesterday, we did write our PDB, which is our professional development plan. And it is like one of them is plan book. And I truly am trying to like plan book. I just don't like it. I don't like the format. I don't think it's, I don't think that it's fitting for elementary or prime or early grades. Um, I could see where I could do great things with it in even fifth grade, but it just doesn't fit with the way that I do my guided groups and I just don't like it at all. So I'm trying, I'm trying very hard. I'm not one that hides my emotions, so I'm very vocal about the fact that I don't like it. And I think more than anything, it's that I don't really like having to do things a certain way when I have spent years planning a certain way that I want to do it. And I'm the, you know, I should be treated like a professional. And as long as I'm doing my job and I'm getting results, which I am, then what I'm doing is not wrong. And I think that it keeps being told to me that if you are not putting your plans in plan book, then you are flying by the seat of your pants and you don't have a plan. Well, I do. I've got 21 years of planning. I planned every lesson. And it's just, I don't know, it's just very frustrating to have to do things a certain way. And I know we have all these frustrations in any job, but on top of all the requirements that I feel like are being brought on us as teachers and all the hats that we have to wear, um, it's just one more piece, one more undue stress that shouldn't necessarily be brought on top of all of that. And so that's just my vent for this morning. But I love, love, love my littles in my class. They are absolutely precious. I have one little boy who is new to our school and I know five times a day he tells me, I just love this class. And then yesterday, probably about three or four times, he said, first grade is not as hard as I thought it would be. So I'm so pleased with that. And then I had a parent um, of one of my kiddos that's now in second grade. And on the first day of school, she said, so how was your day? Was it fun? Do you like second grade? And he goes, uh, yeah. But it's not like first grade. It's not as fun as first grade. So I feel accomplished that I have made learning fun because it's not like we just play. We do a lot of intensive learning and projects and activities. So the fact that I can put those high expectations on these little babies and they still think it's fun and exciting means that obviously I'm doing something right and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I have gotten caught up on, like I said, all the paperwork. The thing is tonight I have college. So from 3.30 to 6.50 I'll be teaching at the college and I got all of the things graded for that. I'm prepared for that. So it's not that it's, you know, it's just one more thing on top of the crazy hectic schedule that we already have. Hopefully next week I'll be able to vlog some in my classroom and not just the videos in the Jeep on the way to school. Um, I just feel like I can't get my head above water when I'm at school. I need to just get 
what's going on at school done so that I can leave in a timely manner and not be at school till seven o'clock every night. So um, I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed day and make it a great one. Good morning, my beautiful YouTube friends. We have made it. It is Friday. Last night we got a phone or an email from our principal that said that it has been such a great week that we get to wear jeans today, which I know to most people, to the world, that is not a big deal, but like in teacher world, that is like the most fantastic news ever. And not that it takes me any less time to get ready. I don't know, it's just something about getting to wear jeans. I just feel accomplished. I feel like, yay, but I still like dress it up and I don't know what even the, the deal is, but it's just one of those celebration times of, yay, we get to wear jeans. Also, some other great news. Um, I had ordered some book bins from Really Good Stuff and they're purple. So excited. I ordered them last, last Friday and they came in last night at my house. So I am taking those to school today. So I'll be able to set those up. And this is kind of a funny and a sad story. So if Teresa, you're watching this, I'm sorry to have humor with your distress, but I am getting ready to teach college last night and I get a phone call. And it is my friend Teresa that is our technology person. And she is literally all distressed. And she said, I have, you're gonna kill me. I have some really bad news. And the first thought that I had was that when she come in my room, that she knocked down my Alice in Wonderland door, which would have probably made me cry. But it wasn't that, it was, and I feel bad because I seriously, I asked her 10 times. I really hope that she did not get hurt doing this. But when she walked through my room last night, to go from one side to the other she didn't turn on the light and I've kind of moved my room around from last year and the new bookshelf that I just got was right there against the other bookshelves and she hit it fell in the floor knocked it in the floor it fell into all these pieces all of my bins went everywhere and she just feels terrible she told me she was gonna buy me a new one and the, the funny part about it is it's not one that I've just had had it's literally the one I just bought um, so I mean it's only $15 it was not a big deal at all but I felt bad for her and I certainly really hope that she did not get hurt doing that um, I did have a great class at college last night it just made for a really long night because like I said I was at school late, late Monday till 7.30 um, or 7-ish or whatever. No, I guess it was 7.30. Then um, I had to go coach at the gym on Tuesday till 7.50 or 7, you know, whatever time. And then Wednesday I had to personal train and I met my family and we went out to eat. And then on Thursday, I taught at the college and I didn't get home till eight o'clock. And tonight I'm probably gonna stay at school because Kenna's going to South Carolina to buy another motorcycle. So I'm probably just gonna stay at school until about seven and try to get everything that I can finished so that I don't have to take things home over the weekend because it is Labor Day weekend, which means that we get Monday off and Kenneth is off Monday and my friend Angie that used to teach with me is coming down to stay with my other friend Teresa and we are all going to get together that's going to be an exciting thing and so I just have a lot of fun things planned that I don't want to have schoolwork hanging over me on top of that so if I can just be really productive this afternoon and I may try to vlog in my classroom some since I haven't been able to do that this week because of crazy first day week stuff um so i hope that you have a wonderful day even though it's raining um i've said all week it's been raining a couple days in the morning and i thought that we were gonna have to have indoor recess and we haven't had to have indoor recess yet so i'm kind of happy thinking today might be the day though it's it's very rainy and it's supposed to rain most of the day 
Um, I can't even see any peak of the sun. So we will just wait and see. But if it is, it's not the end of the world. It is Friday. So at least we've made it until the fifth day of school to have to do indoor recess. And I think they'll be fine with that. So I hope you have a very blessed day. Oh.